YouTube, what is up? So today we're going to be doing a Flashback Friday video of the Hit Monkey build a figure series and we're going to be taking a look at the two pack of the Hit Monkey and Deadpool uh do some comparisons uh maybe some of you guys might see the video and decide hey let me go back and uh pick this black suited Hit Monkey up and maybe even some of the figures in this way now we see that uh on the packaging we got uh two different characters uh so for instance you have uh hyperion excuse me hyperion and we got uh century now century did not come out in this series it came out later and that would have been in the olden uh all father wave and then we ha have uh the iron fist we got in that same wave. However, we didn't uh, get this She-Hulk here. We did get the Red Hulk. But the variant, we never got. And the same thing, I guess, the running variant would have been uh, the Iron Fist uh, in this wave. The White Iron Fist that we end up getting in that same uh, All-Father uh, Thor Odin series. So we would have gotten... Uh, white suited iron fist with these same uh builder figure pieces since we only had to buy three different figures in order to collect this set i did pick up the wolverine uh not sure when i had got these it's been a while uh they've been collecting dust in the drawer um however we re got this figure or this figure was re-released i should say and um Jesus, was that the, drawing the blank, help me out people, um, hmm, Caliban wave, could be wrong, so, Caliban or Wendigo, one of the two, um, anyway, this figure is nice in itself, and to tell you the truth, like, um, I'm, I'm not sure if this one's better than the, the, the newer one. Um, the, the colors, as far as the X-Force is concerned, you know, I, I, I like them on this figure, but the other one is just fine. So this is a single carded, uh, figure that you don't need to get. And so was, Never mind, it's not on the back of that one. That's kind of weird. Did they not have, uh, well, see this one has images of uh you know what you would get in this series of the three figures you needed to collect but there was also an archangel which is not on the back of any of these figures if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and check the she hawk without knocking anything over yeah so no archangel on the package so I guess it only had the figures that had the bath pieces on the back. And uh, the Archangel has eluded me for so long. And you know what? I hate to say that because I had the figure and then I ended up getting rid of it. For some dumb reason, I decided to uh, stop collecting. And I ended up selling my entire collection. Now, since then, it's been tough going back and uh, trying to pick up some of these figures. And, you know, at the price that I have seen it at after, um, it just was, wasn't really worth getting. Because it was after the uh, Archangel that we, the last Arch Archangel that we got, excuse me. So, if I do find one for a decent price, I will pick it up just so I can, you know complete the set and uh, move on but uh, anyway so we're gonna be taking a look at these figures and we're gonna crack this open for the hell of it just because I have it I never got around to reviewing it so yeah let's hop into this alrighty so here we have both of the Wolverines 
out of package well the newer version was already unboxed so i just unboxed that uh hit monkey wave uh, x-force wolverine and it is the same that you would have gotten the x for x fort x force box set sorry um this one is okay it's a little too tall the shading on this thing is awesome uh the butterfly joints are there but they just look a little funky um i think i dig the boots on this one a lot more than the newer version but i think that this one would do just fine um his uh stature short of course but um i think it, it it's a better look the claws are a little nicer but um yeah it's overall not a bad figure if you want to go back and pick it up a lot cheaper than uh getting the uh x-force san diego comic-con i believe it was box set but um we're not here for this guy i just wanted to uh point that out and you know show you guys a couple of things um yeah other than that there's not really much to say about this guy for an older figure i mean it's pretty it's pretty nice um and like i said that shading is awesome um we know that we noticed that the uh grays are different and this is more of like a metallic silver than a gray and i'm not sure if that something that they're going to want to go back to doing these type of colors on the x-force so we might start getting these actually you know what we've already gotten the uh deadpool x-force so i think this is gonna be it and uh you know i'm not mad at it so all right let's move on and get this hit monkey unboxed all right so we got hyperion out of box and um this not was not a bad figure at all and you know a lot of times when you hear the guys say oh it's on the uh, hyperion body mode this is what they're talking about and this is the guy that started it off so you know we got the bucky cap mode and uh now we got hyperion body mode so that's what they're talking about if you guys hear that uh, what was the other one? Um, um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank, but there's a few body modes that a lot of them, you know, the uh, Spider-Man, you know, Pizza Spidey body mode, so on and so forth. So not a bad figure at all. A um, couple things about this that I really don't like um, as far as like the cape is concerned. So this is a separate piece. And I believe this is a separate piece. So these are just poured in. But uh, when you port uh, the top piece in, for whatever the hell you want to call this, the hood of the cape, this kind of sticks up. And maybe that's just from being in box for so long. I do see us getting this guy again in the future. And you can quote me on that. So at some point, we will get another Hyperion. But for its time, not a bad figure at all. Okay, and he came with the left and right arms for the uh, black-suited hip monkey. Pretty cool. Couple of pistols. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. Not bad. Moving on. All right, so now we have the protector out of package. And I hate to say it, but I never really liked this figure, nor cared for it. It's, you know, the way he holds his guns, it's just not right. Similar to Phantom X, these joints, these hips right here, never really cared for him. I mean, when we got him, it was kind of like whatever. Um, in this uh, in-between wave, and I say it's kind of in-between. Uh, in-between wave, because it's kind of like when they first transitioned from uh, 
Toy Biz and the Hasbro. But, you know, I think it's just a poor figure. Um, if you guys feel you need them in your uh, collection, I mean, that's cool. Um, couldn't tell you if we're going to really get another one or get the one that we may deserve. Just because he's such an obscure character to me. You know, I don't see that happening. Um, he was packaged with the Hitmonkey head. Which is a good look there. And a couple of submachine guns. Which is cool. And i uh, actually been looking for a pair of these to go with my uh, MCU Falcon. So that's going to work out. I may not use these. I may use the ones from the box set. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that was kind of cool, that it gives us a little bit of a story here on Hitmonkey. I'm not going to go ahead and read that, but this is two of three with uh, Deadpool. That came with the protector. This one came with Hyperion, one of three. Bullseye gives you a little, uh story on hit monkey there and these did come with you know uh how to you know put them together which is you know pretty obvious but yeah i always thought these were kind of cool another thing that came in the packages um let me see if i can find it here Where uh, these inserts, which say stuff like Marvel Legends and, you know, Wolverine. For some of you ACBA uh, guys out there, those might come in handy. I mean, unless you just want to, you know, display this somewhere. That'll work out as well. All right. So last figure. Moving on. All right. So now we have the Red She-Hulk out of package. Pretty decent sized figure. Not a bad figure. Head sculpt is not really great. In person, she looks a little darker here. She looks really bright, like a bright red. But to the naked eye, it's really... Uh, uh, deep red more than anything and here for the hell of it. I brought out her uh, regular She hawk from the uh, a force box set and It looks to me like these are very similar except for the upper half of the uh, torso But yeah, they're pretty much spot-on a couple of changes here and there, but not bad. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put her to the side. I mean, if you want her, you know, it's up to you guys. And, uh, you know, I make these videos hoping that you guys will have a better idea of whether or not you guys want to go back and pick these up. And actually, this is probably the this is the first video. What am I talking about? So, moving on. Yeah, I'm gonna be making these videos uh, when I can. And we are gonna call this the first flashback Friday video. I'm trying to put this. Sorry, I'm trying to put this uh, hit monkey together. And I don't remember it being so hard. I actually had this figure before. But uh, the leg keeps popping off. The arms are dropping off. Yeah, I hope it's not the same case with the white suit. But uh, if it is, yeah, oh well. But yeah, yeah, this thing's giving me a real difficult time. And let me just go ahead and pause this. 
All right, so there's Hit Monkey out of package put together. And this is going to be uh, three of three right here with Spider-Man. So without even having to read it, uh, it kind of gives you a breakdown of uh, Hit Monkey's origin. And I was like, why the hell is this Spider-Man on three of three? Like, I thought it would be like Hit Monkey himself. So the story goes, uh, Hit Monkey was just an ordinary monkey hanging out doing monkey things out monkeying around and a uh an assassin uh while hurt stumbled on into his clan his monkey clan i guess and uh he uh i guess i don't know if the monkeys nursed him back to health or he was just there and nursed himself back to health and he, uh, you know, did some training out there while he was in that jungle, if you will. And Hitmonkey watched him the whole time and actually, you know, learned a lot of his moves. And uh, I believe the guy actually trained him. Don't quote me on that because it's, it's been a, quite some time since uh, I've read this story or even thought about this story. And uh, he was later killed and Hitmonkey was hurt and upset so that's why he became an assassin and in the story um if i'm not mistaken this is one of the first times uh spider-man and deadpool actually ran into each other so deadpool's you know trying to figure out what's going on with this monkey because they bump into each other and they you know have it out and uh next thing you know spider-man is trying to help deadpool get to this monkey to <laughs> figure out what's going on and then next you know, Deadpool and Spider-Man are friends. And then Hitmonkey and Deadpool become, you know, chummy with each other. So that's a little bit of his backstory, just broad brushed. Um, so, yeah, here he is out of package. We can see that he does have trigger fingers, which is kind of cool. I've had this figure before, a long time ago. Um, again, got rid of it at some point. But yeah, it's... A decent figure and that's what i mean like i don't know what's going on with this thing like every time you know i don't know if it's forced in there or something's wrong or you know it's you know you guys saw it come fresh out of the package maybe i should change that upper torso i do have or had one laying around i wasn't planning on opening that uh red hulk figure just because I was able to find uh, another torso piece somewhere for, you know, really cheap. And these legs are really tight. So th th that's just really strange. I don't know what's going on with this one. So I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up using this one. Because, like, it just pops right out. So I'm going to set this now i might have a hard time taking out his arms this is just crazy but you know just remember they're toys and things happen so whatever uh let's go ahead and set this to the side for now and we're gonna go open up that two pack right back all righty so here we have the Two pack white suit hit monkey and the hit monkey build a figure. Now, does the white suit render the black suit useless? Or if you have the white suit, do you need the black suit? Probably not. But I associate hit monkey more in a black suit. So to me, I would prefer to have the black suit over the white suit, even though, you know, as gimmicky as the two pack is with the Deadpool, it's still not a bad figure if you never got around to picking up the black suit version. And the prices on Hyperion and the Red She-Hulk are, I don't know if they're reasonable at 50, 60 bucks, because that's what I've been seeing them go for. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, the uh, X-Force, Wolverine, yeah, we don't even need that guy anymore out of this set. 
the uh, Archangel. Pretty dope figure. I like the colors on it. But then we got the newer version of it. And that one looks just as good. And it has more accessories. So do we need to go back and get that Archangel? I will at some point. I just don't know when. And, you know, it just depends on how much that cost. Where I would feel like, okay, this is something I do need. And that is how I feel. But do I want to pay that price? Whatever that price may be. So, hopefully you guys like these type of videos. Uh, please like. Subscribe. And, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's just look at them side by side. Give you guys a better idea. Because if I don't show you guys the way they look. Like this this head looks, you know, way too pink. Like really bright. but And this one is definitely a better look. Looks more realistic. So if... We could. All right. So that would actually work. But I guess it just depends on your taste. You know, some people like me like to keep things as original or close to original as possible. I don't really like sw swapping out parts. And, you know, I showed you guys certain things on some of my older videos. If you go back, like, what things would look like. And, you know what? Maybe I do have a few figures where, you know, I do, like, a little bash of two figures and make one perfect-looking figure in my eyes. Like, I did it with a Black Widow and a Punisher, a couple other things. But, anyways, rambling. That's going to do it. Please like, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos in the future like this because i have a lot of things that i need to get to haven't gotten to and i will feel more inclined to do more videos like this that way you guys can make a somewhat educated decision on whether or not you should pick certain things up especially if it's something that's older and uh yeah you can make that choice again like sub and as always take care